oh to get heavens. on the back of the Toyota. The LMP2 Pro-Am leading Elgar pro Cup was exactly where the Toyota wanted to be. And now we've got nose to tail action again. I do think he made the right call there, yes, though, yes, because yes. that is a... Well, we saw it with uh, Kevin Estra. If you, if you try to overtake into that corner, you might well come a cropper and have contact. So he, he just decided to be cautious. No point to throw it away there. Well, the no, choice... Live to fight <laughs> another day, because... Absolutely. He can... Maybe he can hold him off. Well, the choice he made means that it uh, might be a slightly smaller gap by a couple of seconds, but he still leads the race. Yeah, Kevin Estra, right. but a different choice. He's down in 20th position now. We got back in the garage. Better to have your mirrors full of Ferrari than to have your mirror in the uh, somewhere over the fence. That's the, the, you know, when we were talking earlier with Anthony, that's the the difference between leading the race and having a yeah. little bit more caution and then full attack from behind and deciding to roll the dice yeah. a little bit. And that dice sometimes comes up on the wrong number. I think uh, Sebastian Buemi would always pick a fight with Pierre Greedy than a fight with a gravel trap. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> that's what we've got now. It is the number eight Toyota in the hands of Sebastian Buemi. Huge success here at Le Mans up against, the, well, not the newcomers. They've been with us in GTE for a decade mm. at the pro level. But that effort and a whole lot more besides transferred with a resumption of history for Ferrari back in the top class and side by side almost on the exit, slightly bought there by the Volkswagen's Ferrari. Buemi's not had any luck in traffic. That's twice now uh, in the space of half a lap. He's been blocked by traffic and now he's going to lose the position unless he can just, he's got the inside position going to the chicane. He's going to force it here. Yep. And he gets it oh, done. So oh, my heavens. Alessandro Pierguidi, much to the delight of his crew. Passion. Passion everywhere. Said so we'll not give this, this, this one up. Not passion. It's, uh, no. <laughs> uh, ten seconds added, by the way, as we watch this. Still developing. Lead battle. Five hours, 12 minutes to go. The lead changes again. This is going to be an interesting turn. Yeah. No worries, Seb, no worries. Still five hours to go, mate. Head down. Into the slow zone. He'll be seething. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. lost momentum, didn't he, coming through that first chicane. It was, wasn't was quite done, but almost done there. Almost toughed it out here. Ferrari much quicker in the first phase of that straight, but the Toyota came back at him, ultimately, as he did at uh, the entry of the Porsche curves, Peter Dumbreck. Uh, decided discretion was a bit of part of valor there. Again, you know, I thought for a second he might try and force it back down the inside, but yeah. he decided, nope, get out of it. Let's lift it, fight another.